Let's build an immutable lab for practicing Ansible. In the last video, I have explained how to create a lab platform on your laptop or workstation using Vagrant and VirtualBox. Now it is the time for creating our Ansible lab and get our hands dirty. Basically, you can create multiple virtual machines in VirtualBox, but then you need to install the operating system inside, then configure the uh, IP address, then configure SSH keys, install packages, uh, configure connection between virtual machines and so many things and what if something goes wrong and uh, you want to reset your lab configuration so you need to delete and recreate everything from scratch then you won't get time to learn ansible <laughs> every time you will spend time for set up, setting up the lab so we need a lab setup which we can destroy anytime and recreate whenever needed without extra work and i will call it an immutable lab where you create and reset your lab as many times as needed uh, what about playbooks and configuration okay we are not going to keep anything inside the virtual machines instead we will push everything to a git server you can use any free git servers like github gitlab or bitbucket okay since our focus is on ansible you don't need to worry about the backend and virtualbox setup i have already provided a backend file which will create your ansible uh, lab with a simple backend app command so we will go to this uh, repository where I have kept all my uh, Vagrant use case demos or Vagrant files and what you have to do is just need to clone this one so we will just copy this now we have to clone this so what I will do so cd the lab so I just need to clone this one wait for the cloning to be completed okay now we have to go back and see we have so many things but we have this ansible lab here so in see if you check inside the ansible lab the uh, there is a wagon file where we have already mentioned um, what is a image name to be used so we will use sendos 8 then the ansible nodes now it's a zero means there is no nodes so it won't create any nodes but it will create an ansible engine so which is a control node so what you will do we have to create node also right so what I have to do here we go to cd I can I just use SQL cd virtual box and simple lab so this is our directory where we keep it so vim vagrant file so here I am going to edit it to let's say I want to create two Okay, so I have updated my wagon file to create two virtual machines, two nodes and one engine. What do you have to do? Very simple. Vagrant app. Okay, we go back and check uh, other details. You can learn more about wagon file uh, from the documentations. So just for the lab setup, I am just explaining. So we are going to configure the IP address automatically. Then we will configure uh, some items like the name, then the um, memory or CPU to be used, also the name. Then it will run some commands to configure the virtual machines. So for the engine, we have IP configured, then we have configured some memory, CPU, and also some commands is a kind of a provisioning so it will install some items inside the virtual machines on proficient also we have ansible playbook which will configure the virtual machines uh, by installing some other some uh, other items i will explain in detail okay so we can see the vacuum up is um, in progress so you can see the naming all automatically will be created by Vagrant. If you want, you can go and check the 
virtual box yes you can see uh, ansible node 1 ansible node 2 is creating so two nodes we mentioned so those nodes are creating then we have third machine which is ansible engine or control node so okay uh, let me explain something more here so here this is a vagrant file so if you go inside the playbook you can see this is very simple so it will just uh, enable the password authentication and restart the SSHT. So SSHT. Then for the uh, sample, uh, sorry, engine config is there, which will just install few items like the sample inventory. Then it will also add host in the inside the engine. Okay, you can check this repository anytime. Okay, so we have uh, Ansible engine node 1 and node 2 running already. That's good. So if you go back to the Vagrant, you can see it's still it's a provisioning, actually it's a configuring. So you can see that it's, it's, it's automatically installing the Ansible inside the machine. So you don't need to install manually. So whenever you need the lab setup, you just uh, do the Vagrant app. Yeah, that's it. You have the machine, you have the lab with uh, one control node installed and two or whatever number of nodes you needed based on your workstation capacity okay now again is executing some playbook which I have uh, explained earlier uh, it's just copying some sample inventory inside the machine then it will also install uh, some packages like a gate those items then so see background status okay we'll clear this one yeah. status you can see ansible node 1 node 2 and the engine 3 machine machines are running okay so let's say if i want to log into the ansible node so i just want ssh ansible engine that's it so we will access to access we have access to the ansible engine directly you go and check see we have already Ansible installed and ready to use that's it so this is how we spin up a lab so again you can uh, install and configure the lab uh, in any way you want so it's uh, there is no there is no mandatory that you have to create the lab in virtual box and you have to create lab using Vagrant. No, you can use your own way. Uh, let's say you finish your work, you finish your practice today, then uh, you don't need to delete it, but you need, you need to stop. So what you can do is, uh, usually you can go here and uh, do the stop, pause or something. But here Vagrant, you have a command like Vagrant, sorry, I am inside, Vagrant halt. So it will shut down and it will keep the virtual machine stop. So you go back, it's all power off already. So I check the status again, again status. Great. So all are powered off. So, you have a fully functional Ansible lab ready with multiple nodes. Proceed with the next video for deploying and configuring Ansible. And do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel for the latest videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time with another video. Thank you.